we will be starting our journey with the adipocyte. Adipose tissue is loose connective tissue composed of cells called adipocytes. In the skin, adipose tissue provides insulation, whereas around organs, it serves as a protective padding. In addition, there is increasing evidence on the important role of the adipocyte as an active endocrine and paracrine organ, which secretes a large number of adipokines. Hormone-sensitive lipase is an intracellular lipase, or enzyme, that is capable of hydrolyzing lipids such as triglycerides. Located on the cell membrane are specific receptors for the hormone insulin. Under normal circumstances, when insulin binds to the insulin receptor, this triggers intracellular signals that suppress the activity of hormone-sensitive lipase. Sometimes, for a number of reasons, the intercellular signal following insulin's binding to its receptor is not properly transmitted. As a result of this insulin resistance, the activity of hormone-sensitive lipase is not suppressed. This leads to an increased activity of hormone-sensitive lipase, causing the hydrolysis of triglycerides. When this occurs, glycerol and free fatty acids form as products. Free fatty acids are then eventually released into the circulation. Free fatty acids, released from adipose tissue, circulate in the blood towards the liver. The free fatty acids are taken up by the liver, where hepatocytes channel fatty acids into secretory pathways. In a state of hyperinsulinemia, there is increased synthesis of triglycerides, esterification, shown by the thickened left arrow, with consequent high rates of very low-density lipoprotein secretion into the bloodstream. At the same time, there is decreased oxidation of free fatty acids, shown by the thin right arrow. In blood vessels, the enzyme lipoprotein lipase, LPL, hydrolyzes the triglycerides of VLDL. The products of this are primarily monoglycerides and free fatty acids. Lipoprotein lipase converts a VLDL particle into a VLDL remnant particle called an intermediate density lipoprotein, IDL. Monoglycerides and free fatty acids are taken up by the adipose tissue cells. Some intermediate density lipoproteins get reabsorbed by the liver, while others can be further modified. This further modification occurs in the capillaries by the action of lipoprotein lipase. As a result, more compact LDL particles are formed and more free fatty acids get absorbed by adipose tissue. Once inside the adipocyte, three molecules of free fatty acids combine with one molecule of glycerol phosphorylcholine, or 2-monoglyceride, to form a triglyceride particle. In the adipocyte, the newly formed triglycerides are subsequently acted upon by hormone-sensitive lipase. This causes them to again disassemble into free fatty acids and glycerol. As a result, the increased amount of free fatty acids is again released from the adipocyte into the blood circulation. The free fatty acids released by adipose tissue become elevated in the bloodstream. These free fatty acids are then taken up by the liver, resulting in a vicious cycle.